Juan, what, uh, what is the going for you guys to be successful in stopping you know, a, a run game, just, just in general? Uh, it's cute, what, what it's called, and not going out there, oh, it's my time, I got I to gotta get mine. Mm -hmm. So going out there, I got to do what's good for my team and not what's good for me. Mm -hmm. You're a sophomore, right? Yes. Okay, so you know, I, I know you weren't here two years ago, but last year, you know, Florida's had a lot of success running the football against you guys. I know it's a different year, but is, is it something that just kind of sticks in the back of your mind of a team like last year has had success doing something against you guys? Uh, I mean, we try to put stuff behind us that happened last year or what happened last week and everything. We try to come in and worry about what's going to happen this week. And, I mean, we, yeah, they run the ball good, but we good at stopping the run. So we're going to come out there and they're going to do what they do. We're going to do what we do, and we're going to come out on top because I believe in my team my teammates. Would it be a little sweeter to effectively maybe even knock them out of the SEC East run? Uh, I mean, that would be great, but, I mean, we're not really thinking about that. We're going out there to set a name for Georgia football. Because as we feel, it's like a respect around the conference about for us. So we're going down there to make a name for us. I know Julian's been there, you know, with you guys the whole time practicing and everything. But what's it like having him, you know, back on the defensive line with you guys now, especially that he's you know, good to go? Who did you say? Oh, so I said, uh, sorry, Jonathan. Oh, <laughs> sorry, wrong person. <laughs> it feels great. Uh, he's a great teammate. He's a great brother. Great to have him around. He's a good guy. Uh, he's been working with us from off season. Uh, even when he had a situation, he's still working with us to get him back. It's just like a relief that he don't have to worry about that. We don't have to worry about that. More rotation on D-line and it's better depth so we can get the job done. And you guys have had a lot of rotation on the defensive line so far. What Does does he do anything differently than anybody else does on the defensive line that makes him you know, somebody you want to have in the game? Uh, no, he's no different than uh, any other D-line. just an extra body, extra strength help us. Uh, I need a blow, he come in and no slack is given when he comes in, he picks up where I left off. I asked Sony, what's the difference between this rivalry maybe and the Georgia Tech rivalry? you have something you could say maybe that there's a difference? Is there a difference? Uh, I mean, every game plays a rivalry. Because uh, they don't have that red and black, so every game is a rivalry. But uh, this rivalry from Georgia Tech, I, I say they're the same. Uh, they want to get out there, we want to get out there. But we're going to be the, the better get out there, and we're going to get the job done. I know you guys probably would like to play Sunday and get that taste out of your mouth. You had a week to sit on that loss to Vanderbilt. I know it's a 24-hour rule, but it's going to be nice to get out there finally and just forget about last that Saturday game. Yeah, I mean, we pretty much forgot about that when it happened. Uh, plays were made in the game. We didn't make as many plays to get get the job done. So we on, we had a bye week the week after that. Uh, like I told everybody that we, uh, everybody had their own box, what we had to work on, what we need to work on. Uh, everybody did that. Now we're bringing it back together today. Today we had a great practice. We're going to pick up on that tomorrow, uh, have another practice on Thursday, and go down on Saturday and perform. When somebody tells you you're one of the guys that's never beaten Florida, what kind of thoughts come to mind? It's a new year. This is Kirby Smart era. You don't know what can happen.